Yo. Yep. Magical Warfare 1.1.6 is finally out. I know that some of you have waited so long for this. But for those who's new to Magical Warfare, let's give you an introduction first. Magical Warfare is a magical add-on that adds new structures, new entities, new bosses, and the most important of all, new magic types with unique magic skills. First, we've got Soul Magic, a magic for summoning the undead, then Frost Magic, a magic that is slowing down your enemies and also dealing great damage, then Light Magic, the healing variant, be its best for supporting your allies, healing them or giving to them defenses, and Light Hindrance Magic, it is best for keeping your enemies away from you, and End Magic, a magic specially enforced for teleporting your enemies and of course yourself. Then we have fire magic first, and then fire magic with various skills, and fire magic, trickster, and other magic that is used to cook your enemies. Then we have shadow magic, just basically a magic for assassination or to those that like to stay in the dark. And dark magic in a sword master class, basically a magic for like PvP, and dark magic, summoning, a magic that literally obliterates everything within the skills then the moon blade magic also magic that's good for pvp but also it's old is very very cool and good for getting rid of enemies in a wide area then lastly the latest magic that's been added for is the blood magic which is light steel magic and it's also really OP. so previously demolition magic was in the add-on but i asked you guys if I can remove it because it's really causing a great amount of lag, especially when you're using the skills because of its destructive properties and also a griefing problem in servers that uses magical warfare. So I removed it, but if you want demolition magic, you can still download it in its video or in the MCPDL and it's also still in the previous versions. So what's new in this update? First, we have the Soul Wanderer that has a new Soul Summoning Circle when you are spawning it. Then, the updated Fire Magic Skills, Friends of Flames, and the Fire Dance. Then, the new retextured item skills of Dark Magic Summoning and Dark Magic Sword Master by Zan Theory. And also, he retextured the Creatures of the Void. Then, we have the new Mana at Scoreboard and Essence Scoreboard right above the item platform. Then, we have the fourth. The new armor types. First, we have the Soul Armor. These new armors have special effects when you equip them. The Soul Helm will decrease the mana consumption of any soul skills. The Soul Chestplate will increase the number of summoned soul entities, while the Soul Leggings will increase the damage and the power on duration of the summoned soul entities. Then, Soul Boots will increase the damage and duration of the passive of soul magic users. While having the full soul armor, regardless of what magic type you are using, will immobilize any undead mobs that approaching and will also weaken them. The new soul armor can be crafted using the new item, the soul nugget. Soul nuggets can be acquired from killing raids, in graveyards, or from killing the soul hunter. Then we have the frost or glacial armor. Here, the Glacial Helm will decrease the mana consumption of frost skills. The Glacial Chestplate will increase the maximum target of enemies and also increase the maximum range of frost skills. Then, the Glacial Leggings will increase the power of the frost passive of frost magic users and also increase its range. Then, the Glacial Boots will negate or make you immune to slowness effect regardless of what magic type you are using. And equipping the full glacial armor will increase the power of freeze, frost compress, increase the number of summoned glacial rain and ice ball barrage. Glacial armor can be crafted using the new items, the glacial crystal and the frost netherite. The frost netherite can be obtained by combining netherite and glacial crystal. Glacial Crystal has a chance to be acquired when defeating Ryamore the Glacial Behemoth. Next is the Mana Armor. Mana Helm will increase Mana Regeneration Level plus 1. Mana Chestplate Mana Regeneration Level 
plus 2 mana lagging will increase mana capacity to additional 60 and mana boots will increase mana regeneration plus 1 mana armor can be crafted using mana ingots and mana ingots can be crafted using 1 iron ingot and 4 mana essences mana ingots can also be found in mana pool structures and the last armor in this update the raid cloak the raid cloak makes you undetectable from raids and also makes you immune from fire, poison, and wither effects. And raid cloaks can only be obtained from killing raids. And the new boss in this update, Cryomore, the Glacial Behemoth. The Glacial Behemoth has 1500 HP and it has first the basic attack the slash which does 18 attack damage and it can also select from the following attacks every 15 18 seconds. First, the smash attack. Using its large fist, it will smash the ground and within 35 block pages, deal 16 damage to every enemy within and knock them away. The stomp pull attack using its own feet, stomping into the ground, that does 15 attack damage and has a range of 30 block pages. And the stomp spikes attack that it does not knock you away or pull you closer to it but only spawn spikes within 20 block pages and does 15 spike damage and it can also summon the glacial stroker snowman from 3 to 4 snowmen and also they shoot frost shulker bullets they are just bullets of shulkers that deals slowness instead of levitation also it stomp and smash attacks also summons spikes. When its health drops to a thousand, it will shift to its second phase where it will have even stronger attack and become more aggressive but what's the most important is it will cast a blizzard that will make it rain glaciers on every entity within 20 block pages and also set the land within 20 block pages on ice and slow entities within 20 block ridges and also summon spikes below the entities within the ridges. Also, now its basic attack damage is 23 and it will now select attacks that I said earlier from 10 to 13 seconds and now it can also spawn Ice Ball Roger, a weaker version of it. And when its health drops to 600 and 300, it will cast Blizzard once again. Also, when it dies, it will also set the land within 20 block ridges into ice. The Cryomore, the Glacial Behemoth, can be found in the new structure, the Ice Crown Kitadel, which can be found in any frozen biome in the overworld. And there's also been a lot of changes and updates in this version. Some of them are shifted mobs have been nerfed greatly, and now Shadow Rage will be weakened when approaching bosses. And instead of loading tower using an item, the Guild Tower should now load once upon the creation of the world. To learn more about the Guild Tower, just go ahead and check the lectern in front of the Guild Master. Some of the important information that you can learn from him is that when you're tra trading, always hold the item that's needed for trading and mana essences can be collected in any structure and entity in the atom. And that's it for this update. If you want to know more about the changes, and the update you can check them in the description down below or join our discord server link also in the description down below and this might be the boss update that you will see for a while because after this i'll be focusing on adding the remaining magic types into magical warfare and currently there's still five main magic types left that needs to be added in magical warfare don't worry i still have plans for your suggestions it's just that I cannot make them into full magic types with complete 5 skills because if I add more magic type into magical warfare, it might cause the add-on a uh, great amount of lag and it, the add-on might turn out to be unplayable. But I have two plans for it. It's either first, the suggestions will be turned into like sub magic types. For example, we'll add a new psychic entity and when you're treating this new psychic entity, it can drop a scroll that has psychic skills that can be used once or maybe a new psychic weapon something like that 
And my second option is if the suggestion or idea is something that I like or is really good, I might make an independent magical add-on pack with the complete 5 magical skills. The 5 main magic types left are air, earth, nature, lightning, and water. And the next magic to be out is air magic, along with the dungeon raid that you guys voted for.